Have you ever found yourself pondering the enigma of Jesus' identity, wondering if he is a mere historical figure or the key to the ultimate truth? Do you grapple with the question of whether Jesus was a fraud, a man-man, a rebel, or the divine Son of God? In a world rife with skepticism and diverse beliefs, it's natural to seek clarity on the true nature of Jesus. Today, we are going to be tackling the profound mystery of who Jesus is and what significance his identity holds in our lives. In the midst of a society characterized by doubt and varying opinions, understanding Jesus' identity becomes paramount. The age-old inquiry, Who do you say I am? Posed by Jesus himself, resonates through time, challenging us to reflect on our own beliefs and perceptions. C.S. Lewis, in his book, Mere Christianity, postulated that Jesus was either a liar, or lunatic, or the Lord. As we work through the complexities of this question, we'll explore the innate identity of Jesus. So, join me as we unravel the layers of Jesus' identity and discover who he truly is. And stick around until the end of this devotional, where I'll be sharing a powerful prayer that has the potential to reshape your perspective and draw you closer to the truth. The quest to comprehend Jesus' identity isn't just an intellectual pursuit but a journey that touches the core of our hearts and souls. Whether you're a seasoned believer or someone exploring faith for the first time, this exploration into the facets of Jesus' character aims to provide insights that resonate with the challenges and questions of contemporary life. So, let's set aside preconceived notions, open our hearts, and embark on this enlightening exploration of the true identity of Jesus. Jesus is the Living Word In John 1 verses 1 to 5 we read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness hasn't overcome it. Here in the opening verses of the book of John, Jesus is presented as the eternal Word, the creative force behind all existence. The Word, distinct yet inseparable from God, embodies divine wisdom and purpose. This profound imagery conveys Jesus not only as a messenger but as the very expression of God's thoughts, intentions, and revelation to humanity. A little later on in John 1 verse 14, John further emphasizes that this word became flesh and dwelt among us. Contemplating Jesus as the living word challenges us to recognize his role in shaping our understanding of God. It prompts us to view scripture not merely as a collection of words but as a living, dynamic revelation that finds its ultimate expression in the person of Jesus Christ. Just as words convey meaning, Jesus, the living word, imparts profound significance to our lives, illuminating the path to a right relationship with God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. One of the most foundational verses that sets the stage for understanding Jesus' identity is found in John 14 verse 6, where Jesus declares, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In this bold proclamation, Jesus establishes himself as the exclusive path to God, the embodiment of divine truth, and the source of eternal life. It invites us to ponder not only the direction Jesus provides but also the profound truth he embodies, challenging us to reconsider the meaning and purpose of our lives in light of his teachings. If this verse is true then Jesus isn't just a guide, but the very essence of life itself, offering a life-changing perspective on our existence. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. In Matthew 16 verse 15, Jesus asks his disciples a pivotal question. Who do you say that I am? This question, central to our exploration, prompts us to examine our personal convictions about Jesus. It's not merely a historical inquiry, but an invitation to recognize Jesus for who he truly is. In answer to this question, Simon Peter declares, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. His acknowledgement of Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God, was not just a feel-good sentiment 
or doctrinal statement, but a life-altering confession that influenced the rest of his life. And the same is true of us today, in that our choices, perspectives, and the very foundation of our identity hinge on how we answer Jesus when he asks us, Who do you say that I am? Jesus is the compassionate high priest. Hebrews 4 verse 15 speaks of Jesus as a high priest who empathizes with our weaknesses. For we don't have a high priest who can't be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but one who has been in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. This passage delves into the compassionate nature of Jesus, emphasizing his ability to understand and relate to our struggles. The image of Jesus as a high priest bridges the gap between divine holiness and human frailty, presenting him as the ultimate mediator. His empathy isn't distant or theoretical, but grounded in a personal understanding of our human experiences, providing us comfort and assurance in times of trial. Jesus is wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Isaiah 9 verse 6 prophetically unveils various aspects of Jesus' identity. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Each title carries profound implications, revealing the multifaceted nature of Jesus. As the Wonderful Counselor, he provides wisdom beyond human understanding. As the mighty God, his power transcends earthly limitations. As the everlasting Father, his love for his children is eternal. And as the Prince of Peace, he brings harmony that surpasses worldly understanding, offering a holistic view of his transformative role in our lives. Jesus is the servant and ransom. Mark 10 verse 45 sheds light on Jesus' servant heart, declaring, For the Son of Man also came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This passage unravels the depth of Jesus' humility and sacrificial love. His act of service extends beyond mere examples of kindness. It's a profound revelation of his mission to redeem humanity. The concept of Jesus as a ransom emphasizes the costliness of our redemption, highlighting the immeasurable value he places on each individual's life. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Revelation 19 verse 16 unveils Jesus as the ultimate authority, with a name written on his robe and thigh. King of kings and Lord of lords. This imagery doesn't merely suggest dominion, it signifies absolute sovereignty. As King of Kings, Jesus reigns over all earthly and heavenly powers, bringing order to chaos. As Lord of Lords, His authority transcends any human or spiritual authority, emphasizing the submission of all creation to His divine rule. This portrayal underscores the significance of acknowledging Jesus not just as a moral teacher but as the supreme ruler over all aspects of our lives. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. John 11 verse 25 contains a powerful statement from Jesus. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will still live, even if he dies. This profound declaration goes beyond the biological concept of life and death. Jesus, as the resurrection, offers the hope of life beyond physical existence. His assertion challenges our perspectives on mortality, inviting us to view life through the lens of eternity. Believing in Jesus isn't merely about affirming a set of doctrines. It's embracing a transformative reality that transcends the limitations of earthly existence. Jesus is the fulfillment of the law and prophets. Building upon these passages, Matthew 5 verse 17 reinforces Jesus' identity, stating, Don't think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I didn't come to destroy, but to fulfill. This declaration goes beyond a mere acknowledgement of Old Testament prophecies. It reveals Jesus as the fulfillment of God's redemptive plan. The law and the prophets find their culmination in his life, death, and resurrection. Jesus' arrival doesn't negate the significance of God's previous revelations but brings them to completion, providing a comprehensive understanding of God's divine purposes. 
Jesus is the proclaimer of the good news and freedom. Luke 4 verses 18 to 19 captures Jesus' mission statement, quoting Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim release to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, to deliver those who are crushed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This passage reveals the compassionate and transformative mission of Jesus. His anointing by the Spirit empowers him to bring about radical change in the lives of those in need. Jesus isn't merely a distant figure proclaiming good news. He is the good news, actively engaged in liberating the marginalized and bringing healing to the brokenhearted, embodying the life-changing power of God's love. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. John 10 verse 11 paints a vivid picture of Jesus as the Good Shepherd, declaring, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. This metaphorical imagery reveals the intimate relationship between Jesus and his followers. As the Good Shepherd, Jesus is not a distant ruler but a caring, providing, and protective guide. His willingness to lay down his life emphasizes the depth of his commitment and sacrificial love, creating a profound connection between the shepherd and his sheep. Jesus is the light of the world. In John 8 verse 12, Jesus identifies himself as the light of the world, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. This metaphorical language goes beyond mere illumination. It symbolizes the dispelling of spiritual darkness and the revelation of divine truth. Jesus, as the light, brings clarity and direction to our lives, guiding us away from the shadows of ignorance and sin. Following him isn't just a moral choice. It's a life-changing journey into the brilliance of God's presence and purpose. Jesus is the divine healer. In Matthew 8 verses 16 to 17, Jesus reveals himself as the divine healer, demonstrating authority over physical and spiritual afflictions. When evening came, they brought to him many possessed with demons. He cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Beyond curing visible ailments, his compassionate touch addresses the deeper often unseen wounds of the soul. This passage invites us to bring not only our physical infirmities but also emotional and spiritual struggles to the divine physician. Seeing Jesus as the skilled healer, we recognize his ability to diagnose and treat the root causes of our brokenness, providing holistic restoration. His identity as the divine healer extends an enduring invitation for us to entrust him with our burdens confident in his transformative touch that brings renewal, wholeness, and a profound sense of healing in every dimension of our lives. Jesus is God's love demonstrated. Romans 5 verse 8 reinforces the depth of Jesus' love, stating, But God commends his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This foundational truth underlines the sacrificial nature of Jesus' love for humanity. His death on the cross isn't a response to our worthiness but a demonstration of God's profound love despite our shortcomings. Understanding this truth invites us into a deep, personal relationship with a God whose love transcends our imperfections, offering redemption and reconciliation. These passages of Scripture reveal Jesus to be the way, the truth, the life, the servant, the king, the resurrection, the healer, and the embodiment of love. In today's application points, we'll explore how these revelations can shape our daily lives and relationships, helping to manifest the profound truth of Jesus' identity into practical, tangible expressions. Embrace Jesus as your way, truth, and life. Begin by embracing Jesus as your exclusive guide, truth, and source of life. Reflect on how aligning your life with his teachings brings clarity, purpose, and transformative power. Make a conscious decision to follow him in every aspect of your life, recognizing that he alone is the way to the abundant life he promises. Confess Jesus as your Christ and living God. 
Confession is a powerful act of aligning your beliefs with the truth. Take a moment to confess Jesus as your Savior, the Anointed One, and acknowledge Him as the Living God. This declaration goes beyond words. It shapes your identity, influencing the way you perceive yourself, others, and the world around you. Allow this confession to become a foundational truth that guides your thoughts, decisions, and interactions. Seek the compassion of Jesus, your High Priest. In times of weakness and struggle, actively seek the compassion of Jesus, your High Priest. Don't worry about being judged for your failures as John 3 verse 17 clearly tells us that. God didn't send His Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through Him. Approach Him with your vulnerabilities, knowing that He intimately understands and empathizes with your challenges. Embrace the assurance that His intercession bridges the gap between your humanity and God's holiness, providing comfort and strength in every circumstance. Experience Jesus as your wonderful counselor. Take intentional moments to experience Jesus as your wonderful counselor. Seek His wisdom in the complexities of life, trusting that His guidance surpasses human understanding. Engage in prayer, meditation, and the study of His teachings to gain insights that can shape your decisions and responses to various situations. Serve others with the humility of Jesus. Model your service after the humility of Jesus, the Servant King. Look for opportunities to serve others selflessly, mirroring His example. Recognize that true leadership involves humility and sacrificial love. Engaging in acts of service not only impacts others positively but also aligns your life with the life-changing principles Jesus embodied. Acknowledge Jesus as King of your life. Actively acknowledge Jesus as the ultimate authority in your life. Surrender your ambitions, desires, and plans to His Lordship. Recognize that His kingship extends beyond religious rituals to influence your daily decisions, relationships, and priorities. Aligning your life with Jesus as King brings a sense of purpose and direction to every aspect of your existence. Live in the resurrection power of Jesus. Embrace the resurrection power of Jesus in your daily living. Recognize that His victory over death is not merely a historical event, but a present reality. Allow this awareness to shape your perspective on challenges, enabling you to face difficulties with hope and confidence, knowing that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is at work in your life. Fulfill the law of love and imitation of Jesus. Learn to imitate Jesus in your interactions with others. Recognize that Jesus' fulfillment of the law and prophets centers on love for God and neighbor. Actively seek ways to express love, compassion, and understanding, fostering an environment of grace and unity in your relationships. Proclaim good news and freedom in your sphere. Recognize your role in proclaiming the good news, freedom, and healing in your sphere of influence. As Jesus proclaimed liberty to the oppressed, consider how you can be an agent of positive change. Share the hope and transformative power of the gospel through both words and actions, embodying the compassion of Jesus in your community. Follow the guiding light of Jesus daily. Commit to following the guiding light of Jesus daily. Just as he declared himself the light of the world, let his teachings illuminate your path. Cultivate a habit of prayer, meditation on scripture, and seeking his guidance in decision-making. By daily following the light of Jesus, you align your steps with a transformative journey, experiencing the ongoing revelation of his truth in your life. Lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus. Recognize the invitation to cast your burdens upon Jesus, the burden-bearer. Take intentional moments to surrender your worries, anxieties, and challenges to him. Trust that his yoke is easy and his burden is light, finding rest and solace in his compassionate presence. Cultivate a heart of forgiveness like Jesus. Just as God has forgiven us, cultivate a heart of forgiveness, following Jesus' example of mercy and grace. Reflect on areas where forgiveness is needed, both towards others and yourself. 
Understand that forgiveness is not condoning wrong actions but releasing the hold of resentment for your own well-being and in obedience to the forgiveness extended to you by Jesus. Share the transformative stories of Jesus in your life. Actively share the transformative stories of Jesus in your life with those around you. Be a witness to his impact on your journey, testifying to his faithfulness, provision, and guidance. Recognize that your personal experiences can serve as a powerful testimony, inspiring others to explore the transformative power of Jesus in their own lives. Cultivate a lifestyle of gratitude toward Jesus. Cultivate a lifestyle of gratitude toward Jesus for his sacrificial love and transformative presence in your life. Develop a habit of expressing thankfulness in prayer and daily reflection. Recognize that gratitude shifts your focus from challenges to blessings, hopelessness to hope, fostering a deep appreciation for the continuous work of Jesus in shaping your identity and guiding your journey. So, how about it? Is Jesus a liar, lunatic, or Lord? If he asked you today, who do you say that I am? How would you respond? In 1936, Watchman Nay presented the following argument in his book, Normal Christian Faith. According to Nay, an individual asserting to be God can be categorized into one of three groups. First, if he claims to be God and yet in fact is not, he has to be a man-man or a lunatic. Second, if he is either God nor a lunatic, he has to be a liar, deceiving others by his lie. Third, if he is either of these, he must be God. You can only choose one of the three possibilities. If you do not believe that he is God, you have to consider him a man-man. If you cannot take him for either of the two, you have to take him for a liar. There is no need for us to prove if Jesus of Nazareth is God or not. All we have to do is find out if he is a lunatic or a liar. If he is either, he must be the Son of God. The exploration of Jesus as the Way, Truth, Life, Christ, High Priest, Wonderful Counselor, Servant, King, Resurrection, Healer, and the embodiment of love unveils a narrative of unparalleled significance. Reflect on the implications of his teachings, his life, his death, and his resurrection in the context of your personal journey. Embrace the mystery of who Jesus is, recognizing that this revelation isn't confined to historical narratives but extends into the present, and can even help shape your identity and purpose. May you be inspired to walk confidently in his footsteps, living out the life-affirming, life-changing principles he embodied. As you continue your spiritual journey, may the revelations shared today deepen your understanding of who Jesus is, anchoring you in his love and guiding you toward a life of purpose and fulfillment. Before we conclude with the Jesus Focus Prayer, I want to invite you to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content that will inspire and nourish your spiritual journey. By subscribing, you become part of a community seeking meaningful insights and encouragement. Additionally, if you found value in today's devotional, I encourage you to share this video with others who might be on a similar quest for spiritual guidance. Together, we can create a network of support and inspiration, fostering a community that grows in faith and understanding. Your subscription and shares contribute to the spreading of transformative messages, making a positive impact on lives around the world. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and I look forward to sharing more uplifting content with you. I also encourage you to share your thoughts, personal experiences, and prayer requests in the comments. We take the time to read them all. Now let's join together in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather in reflection on the profound identity of your Son, Jesus Christ, we approach you with hearts filled with gratitude and awe. We acknowledge Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life, recognizing that in him, we find the path to a transformative and purposeful existence. We confess Jesus as our Christ, the living God, and surrender our lives to his lordship, understanding that in this surrender, we discover the richness of our true identity in you. Dear Lord, we seek the compassion of Jesus, our High Priest, knowing that he empathizes with our weaknesses. Grant us the strength to approach him in vulnerability 
finding solace in his intercession and the assurance of your abiding presence. We experience Jesus as our wonderful counselor, and in the quiet moments of prayer, meditation, and study, may his wisdom guide our decisions and actions, shaping us into vessels of your love, mercy, and grace. As we serve others with the humility of Jesus, the servant king, may our lives be a reflection of his sacrificial love. Grant us the discernment to acknowledge Jesus as the ultimate authority king of our lives and empower us to align our daily decisions and priorities with his lordship. In the resurrection power of Jesus, grant us hope and confidence in facing life's challenges, secure in the knowledge that his victory over death is our eternal assurance. Lord, help us fulfill the law of love by imitating Jesus in our interactions with others. May our lives proclaim good news and freedom, embodying the life-changing power of the gospel. As we daily follow the guiding light of Jesus, may your truth illuminate our paths, revealing the richness of your revelation in our lives. In conclusion, Lord, we lift up our hearts in gratitude for the revelations shared today. May the insights gained from this exploration of Jesus' identity permeate every aspect of our lives, fostering a deeper relationship with you and a commitment to living out the principles embodied by your Son. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, who is the center and purpose of our existence. Amen.